Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be doing a Blocks Fruits beginner guide. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. When you first load into the game, there will be two options here, the pirates or the marines. Now they both do roughly the same things, but the main differences are that the, everyone in the marines are auto allied, where you can't hit them and they can't hit you. Whereas the pirates, you have to ask to ally other people. I prefer pirates, but you can choose whatever you, you want. They both have different spawns, but the same things on each of their islands. So let's go to pirates. As you can see, I got zero bounty. I You start out with a hundred belly, but I collected a chest just like that and got some money. Before we continue, I just want to say that the first C which you start in may be getting some updates and changes to how it looks. It should still have the same features though, so just be aware of that in the future. So you start walking and to toggle sprint you can press control to either start sprinting or press it again to stop sprinting. You can also press Q to dash in whatever direction you're walking and that takes some energy. You can also do a double jump, which takes a little energy as well. You will have this thing down here called combat, which is what you use to attack things. You can click and you've got the Z ability here, which goes towards your mouse and tackles someone. Here is the mastery for your combat. When you kill something using a weapon, fruit or fighting style, you get XP that goes towards upgrading your mastery for that fighting style fruit, sword or gun. The more XP and mastery levels you get, the more moves you unlock and the more damage you do. Here's me killing this bandit right here. Now, as you can see, I killed it and I got 44 XP and it goes here and to my level as well. Now over here is the first quest NPC. He'll give you a quest to kill some bandits. Click on that and confirm. It says the quest to the left, how many bandits you need to kill and the rewards. Once you complete his quest, he gives you a fair bit of XP which lets you level up. Now let's do the quest. There we go, we just completed the quest and altogether we got 5 levels from that which is pretty great. Each time you level up, you get 3 stat points. Now to find where to put the stat points in, you click on menu and then go to stats and it's right here. The available points is down here to see what you have. They do different things if you put them in different places. If you put them into melee, it gives you your fighting style, which is combat at the moment, more damage and it also gives you more stamina. If you put your skill points into defense, it gives you more health. If you put skill points into fruit, sword or gun, it makes your fruit, sword or gun do more damage. Now before you start leveling up, there are tons of codes in the game which almost all give double XP for a certain amount of time, and they stack too. And the best part about it is that the countdown pauses when you leave the game. You can find the codes on the Blocks Fruits wiki, just search codes and they should be the first one. Now I recommend you split your points evenly between melee, defense, and your fruit. If you're ever going to try a different loadout, I recommend splitting it between melee, defense, and one of the other three. That way you'll always have a lot of health and a lot of stamina, and then damage in something else. So let's do that. There we go. Now you don't have a fruit at the moment, nor do you have a sword or a gun, but you will get a fruit soon. Now over here is the Blocks Fruits dealer. He sells lots of different Blocks Fruits. Only some are in stock, but a lot of them are really expensive for you at the moment. So I don't recommend getting any yet until you are a higher level and you want a specific box fruit. So just sit back and wait to see a different way of getting fruits, which I will show you later in the video. You can also buy swords from the sword dealer here. The two basic swords are katana and cutlass, as you can see right there. I don't recommend buying them or any of the guns in the first C. You should probably just get the quest swords. Now keep doing the bandit quest until this compass right here has an exclamation mark next to it. That means that you can go and get a new quest. As you can see it says there's a new quest available. You can click on your compass and click on track and it will show you where the next place to go is. And the next place is the jungle. 
Once you get to the jungle, if you want to, you can set your home point here. As you can see, except, there you go. That makes it so whenever you press this home button to the left of your screen, it will teleport you to the jungle. So you can be anywhere around the map and just press that while you're not in combat and it can teleport you here. Keep doing the quests. At the moment, I'm killing the monkeys until you are level 50 and have around 35,000 belly. Once you've done that, go back to the jungle and find this guy who's all the way up here called the Blocks Fruit Gacha. Talk to him and you can buy a random fruit every two hours. The random fruit could be terrible or amazing. Now, as you can see, you have to be level 50 and when you're around level 50, it costs around 35,000 belly. But before you buy that, try to get someone to kill you so that you have 15 minutes of disabled PVP so no one can kill you again while you have your fruit so you don't lose it. Unless you're in a private server and you know no one's gonna kill you, uh, you should probably do that. Now, after you do that, you can buy a random fruit. Since I don't have level 50 or around 35,000 belly at the moment, I'll use my main account to spin a fruit for this noob account of mine. The higher your level, the more it costs for a spin. Right, so I'm just buying a fruit for myself. At level 2441, it costs 391,000 to buy a random fruit. And you know how I said it could be terrible or amazing? This time, it was terrible because we got the worst fruit in the game. Now with the fruit, you can eat it, drop it, or store it. Storing it saves it in your items so that you won't lose it if you die. The items are to the left of your screen next to the stat button. Dropping it will, well, drop it so that someone else can pick it up off the ground, like that. I do not recommend dropping it, even if it is a bad fruit. And then eating it will give you the powers of that fruit. So I'll just eat it to show you right now. Now I've got the Kilo fruit and I got the ability to smack down because I am heavy. Here is the first ability. You slam down and do some damage. But beware, eating a fruit will make it so that water damages you and will kill you fast. So you will either need to fly across the islands or use a boat. As you can see, water's damaging me. As you can see, there is a Blox Fruit Stealer in this main town as well, which is right next to the jungle. Now some good Blox Fruits for farming would have to be Smoke, Flame, Ice, Sand, Dark, Light, Magma, Buddha, Rumble, Blizzard, and Doe. Now my pick for the best farming fruits right now out of the previously mentioned fruits would be Smoke because you can hold the flight move which constantly does damage and it's really cheap. Ice which is fairly cheap and has a sword. Light which is really fast and also has a sword. Magma which does high damage and you can hold the F move for constant damage. And Buddha which is a big melee and sword hitbox when you're transformed and high damage resistance overall. Now that you know that, when you level up enough to get to the frozen village, there is a cave over this way, up here and in here, where you can talk to the ability teacher, who can give you some different abilities which really help you out in this game. The abilities that he sells are air jump, which lets you double jump up to 10 times in the air before having to touch the ground again. Aura, or as most people call Haki, which the more you level it up by using it, the more damage and defense you get until you get full body Haki. And Flash Step, which is a fairly long range teleport move, which lets you go in any direction as long as you point your mouse there and it is in range. There's also a free chest up here. Now I have lots more videos on Blocks Roots things, so if you want, you can check them out on my channel. You can also go to the Blocks Roots wiki to learn almost all there is to learn about Blocks Roots. With all these skills and knowledge, you now know how to not be a noob in Blocks Roots. Congratulations! If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time!